So Gary, tell us about your latest couple of pieces of furniture in the gallery. Yeah, well, I've been having fun in the studio lately and uh, this little baby here came from an amazing piece of um, Jarrah crutchwood, which was from a fallen log from an old, from a farm in Boyard Brook. They'd stormed through there in the late 90s and they blew a lot of trees down and the farmers were right onto it. They collected the trees, sliced the logs up and and they've been sitting in, in drying for a long time, of course, because the 90s was a long time ago now. And I was rummaging around our wood piles and I found this beautiful little piece and I thought it would make a great writing table because it was too small for a big desk and probably not big enough for a bar. So that's what I decided I'd make. And I just did a few different things with this. I, I, I've done a cut and fold and instead of 90 degrees, I've just pitched it out at 15 degrees just to open it up a little bit, give it a little bit of a slight forward motion in, in the desk. And I also cut away a section just to create two legs and, and lighten the look of the desk up a bit, just so that it's more of a writing table than a big heavy desk. It's a really stunning piece of wood. In fact, underneath is spectacular. I'll lift it up so you can just see. I love working on this. It's just got this most beautiful soft skin to the outside of, of the sapwood there. And we were very tempted to, well, I was tempted to turn it up the other way, but it wasn't very practical. So um, I've left it as the bottom, but it's got a lot of really nice curve work under here. I've tried to work with the natural lines of the, of the, of the log to keep in spirit with the slab. Um, and these simple turn legs that don't fight with any of the shapes and you just keep it nice and light and simple. I've used an oil finish on this which is a new oil I've been using called Kunos which uh, similar to the other oils I use are totally organic so there's, they're nice to use, they're safe, there's no odour uh, and you just get a really nice sheen with this Kunos and it's quite protective so this is actually made for bench tops so you can spill things on it after the first four weeks once it's cured it, uh, it's really resilient. Uh, so it gets, you get a really nice luster to it, it's not shiny like a lacquer but uh, I've got to sand the wood to 1500 grit, even 2000 to finish it, so you just get a beautiful, if you get down low you can see a, real, a really nice shine that comes off, off the timber, which is just polished wood basically. Mm. I did a little drawer which has just got some beautiful curly paddock grown jarrah again for the drawer front, little pencil tray, just simple, you know, it's really a writing table, it's not made for storing big files, which we don't tend to do these days with laptops and computers, they do all the storage for us, so just somewhere nice to sit and write. And while I was looking for this piece of timber, I came across this little beauty here. This is a really, as soon as I saw this, in fact, I wanted to work on this before that because it was just such a, I could see what it was going to be. It's such a simple little piece. But again, let's look underneath it for starters. It's got a, this amazing skin to it. I mean, really, it's, it's almost worth hanging it on the wall. It's just got a lovely texture to it. Just that beautiful, you can see it's the outside of an old tree. Um, and yeah, so it was a cut and fold, it was a tricky little one because it's a half round, it was a big mitre to do, but um, it's such a simple little piece. And I can see under here it's um, named Mick, <laughs> with your signature on it, Gary. Yes, well, that's because I made it, but Mick, I don't know if you can work out why that is, but my t-shirt might give you a clue, <laughs> and I'll let the uh, people watching this work it out, but... I just looked at it when I finished it and I thought, God, it's got to be Mick. And Mick it is. So again, oil finish, it's got that nice luster to it. And you just really, again, I just worked with a piece of timber and, and I just wanted to make something that kind of celebrated the timber itself rather than trying to turn it into something else. And uh, that's what I did. And I think it's just a nice little simple coffee table. So that was fun. Thank, Thank you.